Investigators are now questioning the crew of the Arctic Sea and the eight men accused of hijacking the cargo ship, trying to get to the bottom of this maritime mystery. Alexander Shatska picks up the story from Moscow. Eleven Russian sailors released from the cargo vessel Arctic Sea arrived today in Moscow aboard a military plane around noon local time. Two other military planes landed at the Chkalovsky airfield, the military airfield, one carrying the investigators and another one with aboard the eight suspects. Four Arctic Sea crew members remain on duty on the ship of Cap Verde in Western Africa. The press didn't have any access to the crew or the investigators so far, except for the state television channel one, which showed extensively the suspect hijackers being rushed off the plane by a special task police force, handcuffed and in a show-off style. And the Arctic Sea crew members appeared to be in good condition. They got off the plane free but were taken to pre-trial detention center in order to make sure they were not involved in the ship's seizure, as reported by Interfax, one of Russian press agencies. Of course, most of the questions concerning the Arctic Sea phase remain unanswered. The Defense Ministry does not talk to the press or didn't talk so far. There is no press conference scheduled so far, and speculations are in full swing, as you can imagine. Some specialists and politicians both in Russia and in the rest of Europe are still suspecting that the Arctic Sea was carrying some hidden cargo, military or nuclear material, or even cruise missiles intended to be shipped to Iran. They were mentioned by a former Estonian for, uh, force, uh, armed force commander. Other things, and this is the official Russian version, it was a regular hijacking with a ransom demand and a threat to blow up the cargo vessel. So far, it's impossible to sort out speculations from facts, and most likely the RTC fate will remain a mystery for a while.